Championship uh, post-game conference. We have Tanya Ave. She will begin with some opening comments, and then we will open the floor for questions. Coach Ave. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Wayne State. You know, they definitely earned this trip to the Elite Eight and outstanding team, so we're going to wish them all the best. I think from our end, it just came up a little bit short. Uh, couldn't be prouder of the team. You know, we gave a great defensive effort. Uh, just wasn't our night shooting-wise. I think some of their length, they're very, very long, and I think that bothered us. We hadn't seen a team like that. So. As much as you try and prepare for that, I think their, their length really bothered us, and then we uh, subs subsequently couldn't get many good shots, and then shots we did get didn't fall. So, in a nutshell. Questions, anyone? So they uh, jumped out to a 14 to two lead. I know it's one thing I'm sure you're concerned about in that building, was falling behind early, but uh, your team kind of stuck, stuck with it and then didn't let them get too far out of the way in that first half. Yeah, we hung in there and we talked about that a lot. The media has called a quick timeout, I guess it's 6-2, because I didn't want them to get on any runs. It's a kind of a team, especially at home. You let them get on some runs and then you're in some trouble. So I wanted to try and prevent that early. And we hung in there, we did hang in there. We just, I think some key turnovers at the beginning too. We, I think we had four turnovers real quick in the first four minutes. That, that didn't help us either. And then again, when we started working the ball around, you know, again, their length, some things that we usually see that might be open, they did a really good job. You give them credit. They did a good job taking some things that we usually get or, uh, you know, some bigger hands in our face too when we shoot. Physical, physical game. And I was on the stage and it looked physical from up there, but you were on the court. How physical was it? Well, I thought it was really physical. You can talk to the two of the, these that played. Yes, it was very physical. We tend to be a physical team, and I know they can. They have their moments of being physical too. Uh, but, you know, that's you, – you, you play playoff basketball. You want to defend and rebound. And, and I thought, again, we did a good job on the defensive end. Just couldn't get things going offensively. But it, it was. It was very physical. I think uh, Brandy Valencia, some of her eyelashes have been ripped off, torn off. <laughs> What were, what were they doing defensively against your offense? It seemed like they were just crashing down inside, not letting Dow do anything. And uh, try, I think they tried to, be, try to make you beat them outside. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's part of their zone is they, they're going to dare you to beat you outside. And, you know, teams like Augustana that get in games, I'm, I'm guessing, I haven't looked at stats, they beat you from the outside. And so they did a great job taking Kaylee away. And then when we got some shots or we got some easy shots inside, again, they're big physical team, you know, and we aren't blessed with as much size and length. Just didn't hit some of those shots. You, you feel like you can hit some of those shots, but then we didn't. But they did a great job taking Kaylee out of, out of the game. Emily, you talked about the atmosphere. I don't think you guys have seen anything like that all year. Um, no, especially in the Armac, and even at home, we don't have that large of a fan base. <coughs> so having that crowd when they started to get momentum, it sure helped them progressively. And we had to weather the storm, as Coach always says. And with that atmosphere, you definitely have to stop it right away. Do you think that contributed to the slow start tonight? Um, not necessarily. I think for us, it was just staying together as a team. And I think we did that really well in the first half. And um, kind of like I said before, just it, I think it helped them a lot with their momentum. Because when they hit big shots, you can definitely hear the crowd. Jazz, uh, just talk about uh, their defense tonight. Held you guys at 36 points. Uh, just from your perspective, what were they doing so well against you guys? Uh, just their length. Their length was able to bother us there for a while. And we haven't faced anyone that big in a while, but it was a good matchup. I mean, it was just our shots. If our shots would have fell, then it would have been a totally different game. Talk about your ride here to this whole, you know, this season, you know, this being your senior season, the RMAC tournament through up to this point. Just how, how exciting this ride's been for you. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, last year was even better when we made it to the League Eight, and it was a great memory, and I'm very proud of my team. And uh, Coach, you were able to get it within three there, I think two separate times yeah. in the second half, just weren't quite able to uh, push it over the top. How hard is that as a team when you get so close uh, that many times, and then they just keep pushing it out and kill us the momentum you have? Well, that's exactly what it does. It just kills your momentum, actually. and. and you keep working and you keep expending energy, expending energy, coming back, coming back, coming back. And you, we were stopping them for a while. We were getting stops, we were getting stops, getting stops. We weren't really converting on the other end. And at, at a certain point, you're going to have a breaking point. And sure enough, we did have, it, have that a couple times. So we did. I think we got it to three twice, like you said. And if we had a shot here go down, a shot there fall down, then fall. 
and maybe it's a different story, but we just never could get any kind of rhythm, never could get any kind of, any kind of momentum. Coach, this is a Wayne State squad you guys beat last year in the tournament. What difference do you see in Wayne State from this year compared to last year when you faced them? I think the year of experience, I think Arlen is better. I mean, she's a great player anyway, and she was a great player last year, but you get, you have that senior, you have some, you have five, they have five seniors that, you know, they experienced that last year, and, and you get that experience, and uh, I think that's a huge, a huge advantage for them to get that experience, and they had that disappointment last year. They had some of that disappointment, uh, but I do think Arlen's better. Uh, I think that, that they we didn't match up as well with them this year as we did last year for whatever reason. But you know, they've got a, a really nice team. It's a really great team, and but I guess I think the year of experience has really helped them. Uh, definitely being at home was an, an advantage. You know, watched a lot of tape on them in the last couple of days. Watching them at home and on the road. They're definitely a different team at home, which is why everybody wants to host. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jay, let's talk about the growth of the program over your four years. And you started your freshman year, you guys were barely making the conference tournament. And now you won the region last year and got to the regional final this year. A big difference was coach. Um, it was defense. We had that defense mentality. We want to come out and be strong. And we were able to do it. Coach, can you quickly just uh, sum up the season and how special this team was? We know you lost uh, Bratton and Tommy last year coming this year. New team, a lot of expectations this time. We know the target was on your back as opposed to last year. You kind of stuck up on people and, you know, just talk about how special this season was. Well, the last two seasons have been really special, especially this season. You lose your region MVP, Cassandra Bratton. You lose another senior that provided a lot of leadership. Tony Drexler, we had some people coming in. You know, we had Kaylee Dow, Janessa Burke, some other newcomers come in. And so... You know, I just told them in the locker room that, you know, they never gave up. They're really special. They're so much fun to coach, and they're really fun to be around. I mean, this whole, we've been six days on the road, and, you know, I'm not sick of them yet. They might be sick of me by now, but <laughs> I'm not sick of them. And they're just a joy to be around. They're a joy to coach. So um, I do hurt for them. Any other questions? Coach Emily Jasmine, thank you for your time. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.